This week, I will be reading an excerpt from my book, The Basic Art of Italian Cooking Diary Seasons, and I'll be giving a recipe for a fresh fruit macedonia, which is a fresh fruit salad. So stay with me. And as promised, here is an excerpt from my book, The Basic Art of Italian Cooking, Diary Seasons. And this excerpt is titled, All Meals End with Macedonia, and it's dated January 15. Hypnotized, or somewhat like Pavlov's dogs, embarrassingly, I am always making bowls of Macedonia, an Italian-style fresh fruit salad, for an after-lunch and dinner dessert. I didn't realize how much of the stuff I was always making until my friends suggested that maybe we should just have some pieces of fresh fruit after dinner once in a while. I realized my dilemma there. Macedonia, which is a fresh fruit salad, was the way we always ended dinner at my grandmother's house when I was younger, and my mother did the same. Not that I am complaining, I love fresh fruit, and because of my grandparents, I am conditioned to always have fresh fruit after my meals. But it has become more than I have almost been programmed to end a meal this way. When dinner was over, Nona would automatically get up from her seat and everyone knew she was going to the little cool wine cellar in back of the kitchen. The kitchen was under the house and would come out with a bowl of freshly made Macedonia to the oohs and ahs of everyone at the table since it was much anticipated after a full meal. Something sweet but light and something that seemed to help digest the meal made with whatever fruits were in season. It almost seems that being in Italy, I am now conditioned to feel that my meal is not complete without a dish of fresh Macedonia. Dinner was always filled with opera and singing and freshly made plates of pasta, artisan cheese, is freshly baked breads, wine, and well, here in Italy, meals are the same. And the feeling that they are not complete without the grand ending of a bowl of fresh Macedonia. In Italy, the tradition is to end the everyday meals with fresh fruit and nuts, and that is a healthy habit. But the Macedonia, I think I'm hypnotized. Anyway, here's a recipe for a winter Macedonia. See if it becomes one of your after dinner favorites. In the meantime, I'm going to make the same for lunch today. I can't help myself. Macedonia obsessed, it seems. Here's the recipe for a winter fresh fruit Macedonia. One whole fresh lemon, one whole fresh pineapple, half a pound of red grapes washed, two fresh oranges, two bananas peeled and sliced into one inch thick slices, four fresh kiwis peeled and sliced, and a tablespoon of sugar or a sugar substitute. Peel and cut fresh fruits into chunks. Place in a bowl. Cut the lemon in half and squeeze both halves over the freshly cut fruit. Sprinkle with one tablespoon of sugar. Stir. Let marinate covered in the refrigerator for one hour. Served with a spring of fresh mint. Do you have a favorite recipe for a Macedonia or a fresh fruit salad? Share the recipe and or photo and hashtag the Maria Liberati show and hashtag the basic art of Italian cooking diaries on social media and you'll be entered in a giveaway for swag for the book. Your photo will also be shared on the book's page. Thanks for listening to the Maria Liberati show. And as always, you can find me at marialiberati.com on Facebook at Chef Maria Liberati on Twitter at Maria Liberati on Instagram at Maria Liberati on Pinterest at Maria Liberati on LinkedIn at M Liberati, my Roku channel, which is the basic art of Italian cooking by Maria Liberati, my YouTube channel, the Maria Liberati show and my Vimeo channel, 
Maria Liberati. And you can find all of the books in my Gourmand World award-winning book series at artoflivingprimamedia.com, on Amazon and Kindle, and really anywhere books are sold. And you can also find my blog at marialiberati.com. And don't forget, I'll be doing that four-course Italian wine pairing dinner at the Ridgewood Winery in Bechtelsville, Pennsylvania on January 29th and a Valentine's Day themed for course dinner on February 10th. And you can register for those at eventbreak.com. And until next week, peace, love, and pasta.